How's it going, you guys? So I wanted to uh, create a video that helps folks out with changing their level away from the default level, okay? Um, I, that's one of the major requirements for your game is a little bit of custom art, but especially um, customizing your level, right? If, if you just leave it on the default level, that's it's, it's really hard to say it's your game. So let's do that. So first thing you got to do is open up the tile map. And I'm also going to show you guys how to, uh, you know, add or remove um, invisible walls as well, because I've had a lot of students have trouble with that. So, um, all right, let's change our default level a little bit here. So if we recall, let me see, there is a way to turn off the red. Oh, here it is, show walls. If we recall the... Um, Purple exclamation point boxes uh, are the enemy spawn points. The green box here is the start point for the player. And the trophy is the goal for the player, right? And then these guys are our deadly, um, deadly spikes or whatever you want to think of them as. Uh, I've had students make them fire, all sorts of stuff. Anyways, we have two main things we have to worry about here. Uh, we have my tiles right here. And we have the drawing the invisible walls button right here. Okay, so if I click on my tiles here, I can add, say, a platform like this. But if if I played this right now and I jumped on top of that platform, the player would just fall right through. Um, because we haven't added an invisible wall. That's what this red tint is. It's an actual invisible wall. So I can add one just by clicking on this guy an invisible wall here okay but if i wanted to be kind of funny about it i could actually take away one of those and let me just show you how to do that so you can take away invisible walls in fact i could create a tunnel for the player to go through like that if i wanted to all right um so that's invisible walls all you got to do is either add them with the paint tool or erase them with the erase tool and when you don't want to be on invisible walls anymore, you got to go click on a different tile. Okay. So um, let's pretend we want to extend our level, make it longer. And this especially goes for people who only have one level. Okay. Yeah. I, I would like to see your level be a little bit longer than it currently is. So I can click on 30 right here and change it to 60. Make my level twice as long, just like that. And then... I can either make my own artwork for this, or I can just go into the gallery and find some art that I like. Um, so let's see. Could maybe use this. And I'm just going to make some jumps here or something like that. All right. And then what do I need to add? And what do I need to take away? What do I need to change to make this actually work? Well, I need to add invisible walls on all these platforms. Uh, I need to make it so if the player falls to the bottom, they're not just sitting on the floor. They'll actually lose, right? Like a Mario or a Sonic game. And how do I do that? With more of these guys, right? These are our deadly tile. And whenever we touch any of them, it's game over. So put these all across the bottom. There we go. Um, and then we need to change our goal. It doesn't make sense for the player to be able to get to the goal and win the game right here. They need to get to the goal over here at the end of the level. So I can use my eraser and erase that, but I believe I can also just right click on it. But anyways, let me erase it. And then I'm just going to put it over here where I actually want it to be. And in fact, I'll put it up here and then make one more little platform for it to sit on. Make sure to put my visible walls in. Okay, cool. Then the last thing I need is some more enemies, right? Enemy there, enemy there. The problem with our enemies, um, if you never program them to make sure they don't fall off a platform, which is pretty complicated, so you probably never did, they're all gonna fall off and end up down here. But that's okay. This part's 
still pretty dangerous without them. In fact, maybe I'll take them away. There's an undo button over here. I can always just undo those. So let me just add maybe one or two more here instead. Okay, cool. So that is a custom level. Let's hit done. And let's try it out. So far, so good. Oh, let's try our shortcut. Ah. Remember, you do need to have bad guys that you actually can be in combat with. See, that guy just hurt me. Um, all right. So here's the new part of my level. Not too difficult. In fact, I could make those tougher, right? I could go back in and adjust it. Make these a little bit tougher so it's a little bit harder for people. Maybe something like that. Let's see if that works. But anyways, I hope hope you guys get the point. Hope you guys get the picture. Hope you guys understand. Not too tough at all. <laughs>